Hi Hot Toys Collectors, Roscoe 0583 here and here we have a new figure that I've acquired just recently it's the Hot Toys Mark IV Secret Project uh, Toy Fair exclusive or um, this was released also at the San Diego Comic Con as a sideshow exclusive and this is that's the version that I've got uh, no difference other than it comes with the sticker on the box um, yeah I was wanted to get this originally but um, never really got around to pre-ordering it or um, trying to buy off eBay the prices were pretty high for it um, it wasn't really a figure initially that was jumping out at me to get um, I inquired at my local collectible store if they'd be getting it but they don't usually get the exclusives in because of their pretty much their rarity um, and I usually like getting stuff from them because they always come with the uh, the shipping boxes always come in good condition, perfect condition so um, sometimes I have to wait, it's a bit annoying to wait a while for some of them to come in but um, I always get a, a good figure at the end of the day and the box on this is perfect so um, yeah so I wasn't really, really going to get it but uh, just recently walked into the store they said they weren't going to get it and um, as I walked in I saw one on display they got one in but they didn't tell me so um, straight away I said I'll grab it um, it sort of jumped out at me at the time um, didn't think it would um, just something about it that made me uh, want to get it then and there so other than you know that someone else would have picked it up straight away so um, yeah bought it for a good price of around 250 so I can't complain about that I'm not going to talk too much about it, there's uh, quite a few reviews on this guy and it's basically just the Mark IV but a uh, sort of a repainted version so uh, let's quickly go look at the box standard sort of box, very plain um, you got the Sideshow exclusive sticker on the corner yeah, it's a shoebox style but it has sort of like a slanted um, cover like that sort of widens as it gets down the bottom and um, yeah so once you take this up you've got like a cover sheet with the the credits um, with all the Toy Fair exclusive which was the Shadow Predator um, Secret Project and Batman Begins um, not too much of a fan of um, the boxes besides the Shadow Predator I find is the best one uh, this and the Batman Begins are very similar um, just have the credit, no picture on the cover sheet and just the contents so there's not too much artwork on those exclusives so anyways uh, that's what he comes in he comes with the same stuff as the Mark IV as you'd expect the sort of like the um, themed stand here comes with the pole with the clamp to have him sort of flying if you, if you wish to do so comes with clenched fists on the body uh, I've taken those off and put the, um, the hands with the posable fingers uh, you got the sort of bendy hands here with the fingers sort of like a bendy rubber got the instruction sheet uh, you got the Tony Stark head sculpt the neck collar if you wish to put the head sculpt on and I think the glasses are painted grey instead of red so that's another one difference to the standard Mark IV or the original version Mark IV and also he comes with the it's like the rocket bullets that go on his forearms but um, they're taped in the box and I have no plans to use them so I left them in there right the figure um, exact same as the Mark IV sculpt but something about the grey the dark grey and the light grey um, just sort of makes the body look a little bit different um, sort of deceptive, it gives that feel that it's a lot of bigger sort of suit of armour but it's not um, so when I saw it I was like yep yeah, well, I'm gonna grab that right now um, yeah so it's just amazing the difference in colour can make a difference you know, to the um, sort of feel to the, to the actual collectible so you have to attach these just like the Mark IV as well. Put a little detail under there. 
Uh, still got the tabs in the in all the parts where the batteries are. So you got the same light up eyes, uh, arc reactor, and the lights in the hands, which are turned on around here somewhere. Yeah, so very well, it's a very light, nice looking figure. Something different. Um, I noticed that on the DVD menu I have, you get to see sort of like a rendered version, so um, it sort of is in the movie just a little bit, if at all. Uh, so like the stage before it's painted. You got your typical stand there with the Secret Project logo. Uh, one little thing, not too, doesn't bother me at all, but I was wondering why they put that sort of um, wear on the suit. Um, you know, if it's the sort of like the rendered version before he's sprayed it, no, I didn't think he would be would have worn it yet. So shouldn't be too much sort of damage to it, but uh, not to worry, it's no big deal, it doesn't bother me at all. Probably just makes the figure look a bit more authentic and realistic and sort of like not perfect. So, anyways, yeah, so that's the Mark IV Secret Project. Um, yeah, I can't really talk too much about it as it's the same as the first Mark IV, just different colour, so uh, if you're an Iron Man fan, it's definitely a must get. Um, but if you yet to buy an Iron Man figure and you want sort of like a classic sort of look, you're probably better off with the original Mark IV, the coloured version. So, anyways, uh, that's all I've got to say about this guy. Thanks for watching. Uh, next video is going to be of my Batman Begins and then Indiana Jones. So, uh, stay tuned. Keep an eye out and thanks for watching. Bye.